Okay, I want you to imagine that it's raining a lot and some of that water is going into the sewer system. Well, you might think over time that that would back up and eventually come out your toilet or even your shower. But it doesn't. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the infrastructure that's been in for years that actually prevents that from happening. Uh, first I need to set up site because I'm kind of in a walking track. Uh, hey, who left that there? <laughs> That's getting old, but I still love doing it. Anyway. This behind me is an ERS, or Emergency Relief Structure. It's made up of two parts, the sewer and the drain, which goes to stormwater. So if the sewer rises, it's a controlled spill into the drain. Plus, we add some monitoring on to see exactly what's going on, which is why I'm here. <laughs> This is a br wait, hang on. Ah, uh, that's better. This is a new ERS, and I hope you enjoyed that transition because yeah, I had to get on the broom and everything. Anyway, this is a new monitoring station, and inside here is a hydrostatic level sensor that I need to verify. Usually right next to the pillar. Get in there. Okay. What? What the? <laughs> I haven't seen this before. <laughs> this is awesome. Check this out. Ah. Check this out. This is not like a normal ERS drain. Looks like it's got some sort of screen that goes out. Obviously, we've already got this thing here, which stops us from falling. This in there is actually our level sensor. But what is that? Yeah, so as you can see, we've got two sensors here. This is the drain, and then this one here was our sewer coming in. And then this is where it will all go down, and then it looks like there's some actual screening done as well. Okay, now I know where the sensors are. I need to check them with my handy hydrostatic measuring stick. Okay, there we go. Sensor out of the sewer. It's there. I'm gonna take it out underneath this grill. Just like that. Done. Yes. Okay. Bear with me because this might get a little bit complicated. The sensor in the hold has a range of 0.1 volt at the lower end to 2.5 volts at the top. And the RTU that's gonna receive that sensor is actually zero to five volt range. So we need to compensate for that discrepancy. To make things just a little bit more complicated, we have something called the count, which is actually the binary value that we're going to be reading from our RTU. Now, once the calculations are all done, I should be expecting to see around 1.4 meters-ish. And check this out. That engineering value there, 1.37. Yes. Pack up. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Whew. 
Wasn't that fun? So we've just verified the levels. We're gonna come back and do a full commission on this site. But now you know what an ERS is and why it is so critical to a sewer network. But you know what else is critical? Sand to trams. Anyway, I'll explain more about it here. Check it out.